Well, let's speak with Marla, please. Uh, Marla, it's, uh, it, it's been a few months. I know the, uh, a disappointing result for you last time out. Just kind of wanted to find out, you know, where your head's at and, and what you've been up to since June. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get back, you know. Uh, I lost my last fight. I had a tough, tough loss. It was hard to digest, you know. But you gotta get back, you know. If you, if you wanna fight, you have to fight through universities. And I feel, I feel good, I feel healthy now. And I'm ready. Just waiting for Ali and the UFC. And we already asked for a fight. You know, the fight I want is to fight Jose Aldo. And we're trying to make it happen, and let's see. And if he wants, my side's yes. And we're gonna bring the show, and it's gonna be a great fight. And thank you, Ali, Rob, and Tyson, to have us all here. I, I know that you know probably after a loss like that, you're trying to move forward, and then you get stuck in a room with the guy that beat you. Is that uh, is, is it awkward being around him or uh, difficult? I mean, he, he makes everybody cringe. Does he make you cringe? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> but my friend, you know, I'm a fighter, I lost in a fight, and I don't want to embarrass myself. And I had the chance, you know, I didn't do it there, why I, I'm going to will to do now, you know. I got to just get back, train, train hard, get better, and have another shot. I don't know if it's going to be against him, I don't know if he will, will still be there, but I'm going to get there again. Thanks, Mark. And quickly, I just want to speak with Fabricio. It's been a while since we've had a chance to speak to you. Um, listen, I know about a year and a half, <laughs> about a year and a half into this layoff now, and give me an idea. What's what's the feeling like? I know there was some frustration, and you were upset quite a bit. What, what's it like now? Yeah, for sure, for sure, I'm very sad. You know about this. You know, I, I know I'm innocent, but uh, the first one I want to say thank you, Ali. I think everybody here is happy with him, you know, he will make a very good job. Thank God for many years. As I don't have a contract with Ali more, I, I represent him for sure, he represents me, but I don't have a contract, just like a man contract, you know. Just look in the eyes and that's it, you know. And I just, uh, I did a lot of things, you know, and I have a lot of work, tomorrow I go to China, you know. And I have a lot of work, appearances, seminars, I stay with my family, I come back soon for sure, I want to come back very soon, because. You know, I'm 42 years old, and I'm young. My mind is very young. This is the point, you know, this is a secret. You know, I come back and I, I surprise you again. I shop the world again for sure. Thank you, appreciate you guys. Fabrizio, how much have you been training during this time off? I mean, have you been on the mats a lot, or is it like kind of too frustrating or painful to train? Yeah, I, I train, but not every day like I before, you know. I try to train every day, but it's so hard when you have nothing to, you know, have a fight. So I have a fight coming up, like I just grappling, you know, I fight grappling in December 7th, uh, just for fun, you know. For fun is good money to 100,000, just for grappling. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I love it, this is my life, man. I love, I love uh, grappling, jiu-jitsu, MMA. But I come back soon, I have a, I just have a meeting with Rosada last week. And I come back soon for sure, man, you know. But the point is a uh, good point. Uh, I stay with my family. I enjoy with my family a lot, you know. I enjoy with my family. I live here, very close here, Palo Verde, right on the beach. And uh, that's it, man. I just uh, I want to enjoy, you know. I just want to, guys, please, I want to hands up to Ali, please, the all five is here, please. I don't like the cameras and pictures, nothing either, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and one last thing, Fabricio. You said you'll be back. You'll be eligible, I think, in May. Uh, what's the goals when you come back? You know, you're, you said you're a little older now. I mean, do you have a lot of no, I don't say old. You say old. <laughs> <laughs> I say my mind's very young. I say young, no old. You know? I what? kill you after that. <laughs> <laughs> what's, I mean, what's the goal? Do you feel like you can fight a lot, or is it just a couple yeah, of fights? I, think, man, I just want to come back in the four, uh, four fights, maybe five. I don't know. You know, just uh, when I come back, I want to I want to say stop when I stop myself. You know, know somebody say you stop the fight and say I want to stop when I say okay I don't do this. You know, I did very very thing. I'm Jiu Jitsu champion, grappling champion. I triple C too. <laughs> hey, man, what happened here? Who is the, the real triple C? You know, Jiu Jitsu champion, ADCC, and the UFC. What happened here? Just let me know this. <laughs> Hey, 
Uh, sorry, I want to add one thing to the invitation I said before. I have already one fight in Morocco, MMA fight. We have everything. We have a good healthcare, we have good infrastructure, we have good flights, we have good hotels, we have good uh, venues. We have everything already in Morocco. Some people don't know uh, what is going on in Morocco. My brother, uh, Usman Kamaro and Henry Sukhudu just came back from Morocco and they saw and they can tell you. Everything. I fought Morocco, 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 I you know, you hear Africa, and everyone, everyone immediately in their mind. I don't know why, but it's we've kind of been programmed to think that Africa, for some reason, is just lions and tigers running through the streets for some God, for some reason. That's not the case. You know, we, we we have the infrastructure just like everyone else has the infrastructure. Yes, there might be per you know, as far as certain places as middle class and, and, and to where the wealth is. It's more spread around. It might not be that case necessarily in Africa, but we've got money in Africa. You think of all the resources that we utilize all through the world. Where did they come from? You know, we got money. We got the infrastructure. We've got things going on. Like, if you guys ever follow me, if some of you who do follow me, you saw my, my posted while I was in Morocco. It's an amazing, beautiful place. You know, and so you know, let's we, we it's about time for us to kind of break down that barriers and break down that stigma that all oh, Africa is just you know gorillas in the backyard and things like that. <laughs>